When someone says Europe, I guess the first thing I think of is borders. Yeah, I kind of weirdly see like a fort. I think of Europe as an idea. When, when you say Europe, actually what comes to mind is violence. I guess the, the violence of borders and the violence of like the nation state. I try my best to see kind of all these various layers through time. And I also try in how I relate to Europe to not kind of cede it to certain logics of border thinking or kind of like colonial expansion. I guess I'm always trying to find ways to think beyond established um, boundaries or to find ways to think beyond um, what we've been told the nation is and to think uh, about how we might, I guess, um, create, protect, defend livable life. And I think of Europe as a concept actually that, that stands in the way of the possibilities of how we might relate to one another. So that's what I think of when I think of Europe. I think Drift has helped me reassess the position that we find ourselves in. I guess I don't see the art world or c culture as disconnected from political claims or the political demands that are made under that umbrella. So I think Drift has helped me connect um, what it means to make sure that theory and practice work together in a sense. So thinking transnationally for me is really important. It's a really big part of how I engage with black and anti-colonial feminist practices and forms of knowledge because it thinks across borders, both geographically, politically, but also when it comes to academic work and thinking across disciplines. Not only does water connect us, resources data, such as salt and sand us. have long been harvested for the in the senses water and entity, but marine organisms individualised as that of philosophical and environmental thought, and those of feminist theory and but practice water has as well. other logics. I'm really interested in black subjectivity um, and I guess how blackness can be understood as part of a landscape or um, how blackness is understood spatially and can be understood in specific ways from particular places. So for Drift I've contributed excerpts of my research and my writing, so primarily focused on the research I've been doing along the Ghanaian coast but also from the Ghanaian coast, how I can look at this island and look at the United Kingdom and how I can look at the Americas, particularly the Caribbean, um, and also kind of how various water bodies converge in the stories I'm discovering along the Ghanaian coast. The questions that Drift um, proposes and opens up for conversation is not just interesting in terms of geographically where we sit in Thanet, which is quite unusual. We're completely embedded by the coastline at every corner, but also thinking about that as a bigger question around what does, it, what does nationhood mean, especially for some of those communities where we work with, um, for example, Roma communities. So historically, what that looks like over the last thousand years, um, but really interesting for this in terms of Europe. So what that change has made since the fall of the Soviet Union, what does that mean for Brexit in terms of movement of the people that we're working with, and how legally and socially those kind of impacts have on those communities. We are set adrift in the space time to power, 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 power convey the sunlight to security. It is here, in the border zones of what is comfortable, of what is perhaps even livable, that we can open to alterity. Audiences can explore the Drift project and see excerpts and, and um, insights from the archive, see the way that the past can lend its voice to the ideas we're talking about today, so ideas of nationhood um, and identity and what makes us us. And the Drift project is really a site to explore these questions, to explore these very present questions that we're still trying to answer.